Okay, so I've been bugging about with N64 emulators and I've got no idea what I've done. But, uh, yeah, this is kind of cool. I have to show you this. Right. <laughs> I've been bugging about N64 emulators and, yeah. I don't know what I've done quite. I've did something with Parallel and then I, uh, yeah. Because <laughs> he could. <laughs> well, I did something parallel, but then I loaded up, and for some reason, it keeps getting confused and it keeps loading a different version of the bloody thing up. But, uh, yeah. So he's using. Um, I think he's actually he's using Angry Lion at the moment, or the. Um, and the other one as well. But. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty, uh, pretty fast. I, the, the audio don't seem to be working at the moment for some reason, which is weird. I do actually have it overclocked a little bit on the fan stand, but, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't quite understand what I've done, to be honest with you. <laughs> it's cool though, isn't it? What have I done? I don't know. But I've done something. If I had audio working too, then this would be pretty cool. I guess I keep changing and setting in one core, then loading another core up, and then it, it's acting really weird on me. It's acting very, very strange. Is this something about OpenGL? Yes. 3.0, which I don't quite understand how it's doing that. But yeah, everything's all hyperactive. It looks good, doesn't it? I think the frame limiter is broken. Don't understand this. <laughs> thing I, this is the thing, right? I managed to get a hold of the, the parallel core, but when I load the core up, it don't work properly. So another parallel in 64, right? You see down there. I load another N64 game up. So this, this is so jank, but at the same time, no, wrong one. I'm losing my marbles. So just how strange this is. Awesome, but strange. Let me try Body Harvest because this just tanks frame rates. But I'm not sure which settings it's using and which emulator it's using. Like, push the button. So it says Mupin 64 plus GLES 3.1. Strange, isn't it? I think it's running Angry Lion. With. Well, it's an old version anyway, it's not. I mean, oh, yeah, it's looking good. I'm fast. I have my controller plugged in right now. So what I'm gonna do? This, because this is so strange. I need to 
do the controls. Well, I've got an idea. Hold on. Let's see if I can plug my controller in and see if that works. Just one sec. <clears throat> you can stare at this this cable here for a minute, my friends. It will stare at you with the evil black eyes. The strangest good kind of strange. I have a very squeaky, horrible old office chair I'm sitting on at the moment, so I do apologise for that noise. Ooh, yes. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's kind of right about, I mean, they do the saying about the performance, but. I don't know what I've quite done, but something interesting is very happening. It's been that body harvest running without the graphical glitches. Without any audio, still. Well, I'll prove it. You go up to the vehicle. Press the right C stick button. I'm assuming. Come on. Okay, it's not doing that. Alright, fair enough. Can't be moved. But yeah, now we've seen a frame rate tank. Still though, if I was anyone who's spawning, I mean, he's working not too too horribly now. But yeah, strange, isn't it? We'll try something like banjo. Actually, you know what? Well, yeah, I'll try Tetrasphere maybe. Tetrasphere is one that makes pies chuck a bit. Well, not the new one. Well, not so much the pie free, but. It's like all these different cores and they're weird. But Parallel was the one that gave me more options. And I'm friggin' nuts. Y'all know how nuts I am. For some reason, the audio is just broken at the moment. I think it's, I think, you know, part of it might be the uh, micro HDMI adapter I got, it's a bit faulty, so. We will try, I was going to try Banjo too, will not I? There's a test again. For some reason, the control is not detected. See, it's all kind of a bit funny, on a bit awry. But uh, yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> Things have gotten a little bit strange. But in a way, it's good. Because now we can see what this thing's capable of. In a way. What have I broken? I don't understand. <laughs> it's actually really awesome. Um, I'm going to try Tetris Sphere now. Cause like, some of the controllers aren't working now. Some of the... Some of the things... Still can't get Dreamcast to work as well, by the way. I just won't boot. None of the, none of the 
uh, Raycar stuff I've got just wants to boot it just like nah I don't want to and I can't get a standalone PPSP to work either so that it just says this that it says Move 64 plus GLAS free so I don't think it's triggered through a glitch or something Should have done in the first place. Um, try to think what slows down. Oh, hold on, hold on. Mario Tennis does. This is a good test. Look at this. Friggin' look at this. Friggin' Nick. Ah, oh, there you go, see? What the friggin' frig is friggin' and friggin'? Okay, so that does, it does slow down with that bit. What kind of settings have I fiddled about with to do this? Friggin' sweet is this? I can't play this with one hand. What the frig have I done? So these are the settings that I had. I don't know if it's going to show the right settings because it sometimes shows the settings for the other emulator rather than the right one. See, because it says movement, but I changed some stuff in parallel. How bizarre is it? Change setting in one is affecting the other. Strange, isn't it? Very strange. It's looking good though. Bizarre. I wish I understood what the frig I've done. <laughs> but, you know. Potentially things to come in that.